I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Evo? A moment! In the rough. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it Ode to a Hungry Flame. Another skald come to join us. Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no skald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your mead. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You're talking with him now, and you are? Ah, oh, by God's blood, my day begins with a lash of good fortune. I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family. That's a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of the shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the ruin. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that... I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels. God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. 
That might shut him up. Let's go. Run up the sail. So this is Hunwald's safe haven. Though we be a Mercian Shire today. Hunwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Hunvald. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Hunvald, your father's ill. 
and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard. A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! Let's not break our bones without some alcohol to dull the coming pain. Alewife, for these stout Saxons, around on me. Well, that's, uh, uh, that's kind of you. Unexpected, like. <laughs> Cheers to this day. One who knows the true worth of silver. You canny fox. That was incredible. Like watching a captain navigate the roiling waters of an angry river. I must void my bladder, Eivor. Then we shall set forth in search of adventures new. You travel with a marked man at your side. He's with me. He'll be fine. If I had a scribe jot down all the occasions I'd warn that stupid boy, I'd be the most written about man in history. Alfgar, the boorish nag of Lincolnshire. Told Humboldt to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Humboldt is in trouble. No, you don't! To hell with you! Leave him be! Jesus! He's brought the bloody day! Oh! I have been struck down! Silver days back. I must. Continue as you will. And if I should expire, avenge me. You dead. Dead. I live. I am alive. Heaven have mercy. Are you hurt? Unbelievable. The Battle of Buttlestone will be remembered for years to come! Alfgar, we have won our first great victory! Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I... We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. Was it naive to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire? What cause have any to dishonor me? Look! Boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse pucky! Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? 
No, never. No, I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. He had bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. Here's Lincoln, the city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. If they see me, this will get messy. Merchant guards everywhere. Follow me. Right behind you, Shadow Lord. Your heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat. This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Don't you see it now? Fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around this town with my face hidden. I will walk around among the people I love. How was your father? silver to buy peat from those bandit smugglers. They hoard everything. No one has heard from the Elderman in weeks. What's happened? Lord Hunbioch is surely fighting the Danes to the north. No, no. He's made a pact with them. There's peace now, have you heard? No, that can't be true. Hunwald! Praise God you live! 
I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? Reagan hair? He's an old fixture of my family's household. Loyal to the end. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little lordling. A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Lincoln seems a good place to trade, does he? The market is flush with goods. Yes, it must be. Growing up, we never wanted for anything in my father's home. Bread and poultry and field fruits of all manner. I suppose this is where our servants purchased them. Lincoln's boom was ours as well. How often did you leave your house home? Oh, time to time. Yes. Tell Lord Hunbeor his son has returned. My lord, you're well. Lord Hunward, we had no news of your return. You might have sent a messenger and spared us the suspense. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north. Bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ha. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin, I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbior. That is all. Lord Hunbior has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly. Once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Hunwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against the Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence, with a hired Viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. Hunwald has seen the point of a dagger more than once this week. I'm only here to protect him. Your father was at my hospice for some days, and very well treated. But he left in secret. That's all we know. In secret? That's odd. He's not one to scurry about in the dark. I'm sorry, Hunwald. We have searched high and low for him, but to no avail. 
Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scaring thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Someone may have seen him depart. Where's the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Uh, sorry, I I'm busy. know where your elderman is. I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our Elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins, just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. Hey, hold on. 
They fear us. No one takes us for fools. You got it. Remember, God punishes those who wish ill upon. upon. Go on. Ill upon who? Eh? Oh, sorry, I, I was miles away. What? Christ <laughs> Jesus, you haven't got enough brains in your head to blink, have you?
These tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh, oh, ah, damn it! Guards here are vigilant. More Mercians traipsing across our route. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrook without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. Smuggling will always be difficult. But I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown. Fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak, the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed this way.
I know a lonely girl that would love to meet this king. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Wallingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbrook Castle. That's my best lead. Ah, huh? oh, fresh air. 